this new shit crusade new wave new drip toupee they trip suitcase man it's mcd at wcr and i'm back today with another reaction so today i wanted to do something a little bit different i wanted to react to the new alien trailer uh for the upcoming film alien romulus i know this has been out a couple of days already but i was on holiday when it came out and i really wanted to get a reaction done to it i know it's a little bit late i'm sorry about that i basically got home from holiday and jumped straight on to record my reaction i love the alien franchise it is like probably my favorite movie franchise of all time even though it is plagued with problems first alien probably the best horror film of all time aliens possibly the best film of all time alien 3 is a flawed masterpiece uh, Alien Resurrection, I don't really acknowledge its existence, um, I kind of pretend it doesn't really exist, I hate it, even outside of the Alien franchise I cannot stand it, I think it is an awful film. Uh, and then the prequels, Prometheus I think, is a film with so much promise and it's beautiful and if it wasn't an alien film or tied to the alien universe in any way i actually think it's a really good film and then finally covenant which was one of the most disappointing films i've ever seen so it's been a while since we had a really good alien film and i'm kind of excited for this i've been trying to keep my hopes in check but i've read a few things and i've seen that uh fede alvarez is the director and he did the evil dead remake which is fucking fantastic like i really really loved that remake and he's great with like gore and body horror and style and stuff with and like great at like modernizing a franchise but adding his own twist while at the same time paying homage to the original and keeping the spirit of the original alive and i think what alien does need is just a back to basics great flick with a lot of gore suspense and terror with an alien killing people so yeah i'm i'm excited for this one i've read a few things about the trailer online a lot of people are a bit worried it's going to be retreading old ground with nothing new to say or that the cast are all gen z and for some reason people have an issue with that i personally don't don't have an issue with that i think it's high time that new characters told new stories in the alien universe and i just want a scary gritty lovecraftian horror you know so I i'm pretty hyped for this without further ado let's check the trailer out for alien romulus i'm i'm pretty i'm nervous but i am excited so let's see see what's about Okay, so that's quite a cool shot straight away there. You've got the ship flying in there to what looks a little like a space station. So I did read, actually, that the director, he really enjoyed the game Alien Isolation. If you haven't played it, play it because it's fantastic. I somehow completed it while just continuously shitting my pants for the entire duration. So somehow I got through it. It was really good. But that looks a little like Sevastopol, is it called? like the big circular space station and it's cool you can like if we go back i think i saw the Whalen yutani logo on the ship so it's a Whalen yutani ship uh for those of you who don't know much about the alien universe the i guess you could say they're the big bad other than the alien is the company Whalen yutani who basically exist to harness the power of the alien and and use it for their bioweapons division at any cost you know if you remember the first movie the crew of the Nostromo were expendable so it's interesting it's a Whalen yutani ship that is approaching this space station um, and you see the rings of the planet behind it just kind of reminiscent again of the first film with I believe the the moon LV426 orbits a planet with rings around it so it's kind of kind of nice nostalgia that but it's a cool opening shot that's a beautiful shot with the uh, light shafts oh I can hear the um, alien the original alien trailer siren thing and you know tight scary corridor tracking shots an alien name a more iconic duo but yeah, I like this color grade already. It's kind of like brownish, but with the blue from Aliens. 
Um, so that's cool. These light shafts look awesome. Like that is a that is a dope shot. And yeah, you can hear the alien siren from the first trailer. Okay, that's. I liked that. Where what was that bit of dialogue? Hang on. No, no, I don't. I don't know what it is. That sound is so visceral and real. Like you know, if you ever saw an alien, you wouldn't know what the fuck it was. That is probably the first thing you would say is something like, "What is that?" or "What the fuck is that?" That really bothered me in Covenant, actually, when uh, Danny McBride's character flies down the ship to save uh, Budget Ripley at the end, and the alien leaps onto the craft as they're taking off i think and instead of being like holy shit what the fuck is that he's just like oh we've got company and it's just like what the fuck like he's not phased that there is alien life which you know as far as i'm aware is pretty undocumented in the universe at this point he's he's not fast he's just he does a disney quip we got company and it's just cringe and shit and i hate it and i hate that movie really to be honest a couple of cool shots but yeah anyway sorry back to the trailer oh and Rid ridley scott is um involved which could be a blessing could be a curse as long as he isn't involved in the writing or anything like that i think that's great because as a filmmaker, he is one of the undoubted goats and his stuff just, you know, I've, Alien is amazing, obviously. Even Prometheus and Alien Covenant, although the writing is an absolute dumpster fire, they're beautiful looking films. So I'm glad he is involved in some capacity at least, but let's carry on. Yeah, it's just called the Visceral Terror. And the right. hypersleep chamber filled with uh, blood and gore there. Hypersleep chambers are very iconic in the Alien uh, universe, um, feature prominently in pretty much all the films. And that one is just filled with blood, which is gnarly. But yeah, I just love that, just the ambient, that horrible alien siren going off with the screams from different characters it just conveys the sense of dread and that shit has got very real so yeah i like that a lot Run. whoa go back go back go back go back go back okay that that's horrifying that is multiple face huggers we've got one two three four five six at least there maybe that's horrible. Have we seen multiple face huggers in the Alien universe before? I'm not sure if we have. There's two or three in the med base scene in Aliens. There's one in Alien, couple in Alien 3. I don't think we have. I think this is the first time we've seen sort of a swarm of face huggers. And that is terrifying when I think about it. I'm surprised that's never come up before. They've always creeped me out. They're like giant... Those camel spiders from those videos you'd see of soldiers out in Iraq and stuff. Those horrible fucking brownie beige scorpion spider things that run after you and chase your shadow and stuff. Oh, they give me the creeps. They're horrible. They just And they remind me of like gnarly old hands with their fingers and stuff. But yeah, no, that's, that's terrifying. Hold on. Run. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, but that does perhaps bring me to my first criticism I have, and that would be the CGI. Now, I've read actually, I read a lot about the film and how and how they are going to be using mainly practical effects, which is great. You know, I think practical effects they look the best, and I know they've got Stan Winston's team who did the animatronics and costume and stuff for Aliens back to do this so that is really exciting that's a big positive and the best films you know are the ones that use practical effects and supplement it with cgi because you can't do everything with practical effects right you are limited by what you can do but it grounds the effects in reality and the problem with cgi is it gets overused and it makes things look slightly uncanny valley 
everything looks kind of floaty and like it's got no weight to it. And that's the first issue I have with this one shot. You can see the face like a flying through the air there. It's jumping a good 10 feet and it's just lasered onto that person's face. And it just, I know it's a film about fucking alien monsters and stuff, but it kind of breaks the reality for me a little bit. I feel like even though it is this incredibly alien organism it wouldn't be laser accurate you know it'd be a bit clumsy maybe that's what would make it creepy to me if it had weight and realistic movement to it and here you can see it's just launching itself through the air like a fucking cruise missile onto this guy's face and it's, it still looks cool don't get me wrong it still looks cool and if cgi is used like fleetingly and for really short shots like this i don't think it'll be an issue but going back regardless, that is that is a terrifying scenario to be in, you know, backing up in a tight, confined space with a swarm of these things coming after you. That is that is horrifying. Yeah, no, this it's very cool. Let's 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 carry on. Okay, so we got two characters running down a hallway here. One of them is tossing a flare behind them I assume as a distraction to lose whatever is chasing them down this corridor and you know that's that's the great thing about the alien movies they're set in confined corridors on space stations and stuff or on a prison planet in Alien 3 and it's claustrophobic which is a fear many people have myself included it's terrifying you know you're trapped in this enclosed space with this horrifying thing coming after you and you can't escape and that is again a very cool shot the sets look great they look really faithful to the original movie and you know characters running away in terror that's what you want that's a another cool shot with the striking red light standing out against the sterile white background here so yeah i, I like this shot a lot it's very cool Okay, pause again. This dude, let's see if I can light him a bit better. There he is. So he's definitely an android. Look at that posture. I mean, you don't get posture like that unless you're some kind of half synthetic person, at least. Yeah, so androids play a huge role in the Alien franchise. Perhaps to its detriment in the prequels, actually, as Ridley Scott is obsessed with androids and creation. And I think he kind of ruined a lot of the mystique of Alien when he kind of started becoming obsessed with androids taking a very, very prominent role in the creation and lore of the Xenomorph. Uh, me and my late dad, we used to talk about Alien when I was a little boy and we used to talk about the space jockey and the derelict spaceship and we used to sort of speculate where the hell did it come from where was it going why was it carrying this cargo of eggs what were they for and we didn't know back then we could only speculate and it was fascinating you know and the fact we didn't have any answers was what made it so fascinating it absolutely captivated me as a kid you know and it terrified me as well and the more Ridley Scott has tried to explain the alien's origin story, the less scary it's become. Because you take the universe, it is massive, it is incomprehensibly large. And what Ridley Scott has done, unfortunately, I feel, by making David, the android in the prequels, a sort of creator of the xenomorph, um, he's taken that and he's squashed it down into a tiny little space and it makes it m more familiar and less scary the terrifying thing about alien and the xenomorph itself is to me it's just this thing that's out there somewhere in the deep dark corners of space and it's terrifying we don't understand its motives maybe it doesn't have motives it's just this weird ancient terror that has been out there in space and that's what makes it creepy to me knowing that some random robot knocked it together in a fucking frankenstein laboratory 
20 years before Ripley stumbled into it is just way less interesting and way less scary. Having said that, androids and creation and stuff like that is a very interesting concept. I just don't know how well it marries into the alien universe but androids have always played a prominent role in alien uh you had ash in alien who was working on behalf of the company to basically bring an alien specimen back and the whole crew were expendable you had bishop in aliens who was a lot more friendly you're not quite sure of his motives and he's a bit sketchy until the end when he actually saves Ripley. And then in the, the games, you have the working Joes who are terrifying. These terrifying, emotionless robots that follow you around and try and stop you from basically getting off the space station. You know, they're, they're up to no good. They're horrible. They stalk you without remorse or care. There's an interesting parallel there to the alien itself who is doing similar things. And it's cool. And he is definitely an android. Will he be a good one or a bad one? I. He looks a bit... He's got a frown on there. A bit of a scowl. Looks a bit angry. Looks like you've eaten his last packet of crisps and he's furious about it. So yeah, maybe he will be bad. I don't know. I have no idea if he'll be good or bad. Um, I guess we shall see. But yeah, that's a cool shot as well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was gross. Um, let's go back. <sighs> yeah, so that's that's what I'm talking about. Alien has always had a lot of body horror, and Geiger's artwork has a lot of Geiger designed the xenomorph and a lot of the um, paraphernalia around the xenomorph, like the derelict spacecraft and things like that. He incorporates a lot of overt sexual imagery into his artwork. I mean, the alien itself has a giant cock for a head. The openings in the derelict spacecraft in Alien look like vaginas. The facehugger itself, its sort of underbelly looks a bit like a vagina. And the film incorporates a lot of things, a lot of imagery about rape and unwanted pregnancies and things like that and it kind of flipped the the original film kind of flipped the whole rape thing on its head by having a man be impregnated against his will hence the first alien in the original alien ash refers to as kane's son and this this is no different uh alvarez in evil dead he used a lot of gore and body horror he's great at that and here you can see a face hugger being pulled off a victim and its ovipositor being pulled out of the mouth, which is disgusting. The noise that um, accompanied it as well was perfect, just a proper... Um, yeah, that was pretty gross, pretty gnarly. Got a zero gravity shot there, that's always cool. And you can see the terror on the actor's faces there, he's done a good job, I know... A lot of people are going to complain, like I've read complaints online that a lot of the cast are young and Gen Z, why that should be an issue, I don't know, it's not a problem to me. It's about time new characters told new stories in the universe, so I'm pretty excited about that, you know, to see these new characters and, you know, the first film is, you know, space truckers in space, they've been out there a long time working, the second movie is about hardened marines going in and facing these things and then the third film is about convicts and stuff and we haven't really seen a group of young people come up against this monster and I feel that'll be interesting because they will behave differently and make different decisions to perhaps what more experienced people would make and I think that will make for an interesting dynamic so that's that's pretty cool. All right, we got uh, another face hugger shot there. And again, it just looked a bit too fast and too smooth. I might be nitpicking. I don't know. It, like I say, if the CGI is used sparingly, I think it'll be fine. But, you know, I, and I know I appreciate it's hard to launch an animatronic at someone's head. <laughs> so they're going to they have to use CGI, you know, to get it to look good. I mean, 
I mean, what? Who, what's this guy here? Who is this guy? Has he got flares on? <laughs> Looks like he's... Maybe he's going to a dance party afterwards or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, whoever this is, they're fucked. They're in trouble, aren't they? That's a... That's the best shot. That's the shot right there. That's cool. So that's a... That's a callback to Aliens and Ripley going down to the hive to save Newt. In the final act and she gets off the elevator and she walks out with her her pulse rifle. Well, it's not actually a pulse. Or is, is it? No, it's a, yeah, it is a pulse rifle strapped to a flamethrower which i always thought was super cool when we were kids we used to have uh cap guns <clears throat> and like toy guns and we get duct tape and like strap them together just like she did but no it's, that's a really cool shot that looks like a pulse rifle but slightly different the barrel is slightly different so maybe it's a modified version or a a uh, variation of a pulse rifle she even has like she has like a green kind of shirt on which is very alien 3 and yeah I, I do have to say maybe this does worry me a tiny bit that there will be too much fan service because a lot of these remakes they're just nostalgia bait you know they just throw in loads of references to old films so you can be like oh, oh I recognize that and stuff and which is cool I like the odd thing like that i think we all do we all enjoy being reminded of when times were just better but i worry it will be a lot of that and no substance and i'm not asking for them to make an incredibly deep film that expands on the universe and asks interesting questions i just want them to make a tight scary as fuck film back to its roots people just being stalked in a claustrophobic location by the most terrifying creature of all time so i hope we get that but this shots like this i think are great i mean that is an awesome shot the way she comes off the elevator with all the the smoke and steam in the background you've got the orange warning lights and stuff and um the way the camera just gently tracks from left to right yeah just just looks really 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 dope I really dig it. That's my favourite shot of the thing. I think there's a reason why that's towards the end because it is a great shot. And there he is. There's our boy. There he is. So, so he looks like he's got the silver metallic teeth, which is very cool. It's very reminiscent of the OG alien from the first alien. He had the metallic silver teeth, which is my second favorite design i actually marginally prefer the runner from alien 3 i just think it's just such a cool design with the like really feminine lips and stuff and the way it took on the traits of the dog that it came from i thought that was very cool but the og alien is iconic and it's creepy and it's spooky and i think the reason i find it so creepy is it has like a trans slightly translucent head and just behind the head you can see like the faint outline of a human skull and i've just always found that super creepy and i'm not even sure why it's because there's something very very vaguely familiar about it but also terrifyingly alien it's kind of like seeing your doppelganger or something like that it evokes this primitive unease and i've always just found it so creepy and so fascinating it is the greatest movie monster of all time there is no no question in my mind nothing even comes like remotely close to the xenomorph's design it looks awesome and there is a nice shot of it there and that doesn't look like cgi to me that does look like a practical animatronic effect And then there's the title screen, that is it. Out in August. Alright, so I thought that was great. As a teaser, that is awesome. It hasn't given away any of the story, really. Shown us a little bit of the alien, like one shot of the alien. 
the face huggers in there very quick shots of them the swarm of those that looks terrifying that hints at something slightly fresh you know something new we can look forward to it looks great that the the, the the sets look amazing, they look very faithful to the original film and Alien Isolation, which I think is great. Conveyed a sense of claustrophobia, the lighting was awesome, the colour grade was great. It kind of had a mixture of Aliens and Alien. Thankfully no Alien Resurrection, because that is the ugliest colour grade of all time. I'm pretty excited about this one, I've been trying to keep my emotions in check, because I, 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 like I say, I love this franchise. I think it's amazing. It's kind of hard not to get excited, you know. August can't come quick enough. I know they're doing a TV series as well, which comes out next year, I think. So if you're an Alien fan like me, we're eating good at the moment. Um, let's just hope it doesn't suck. But no, I'm really, really optimistic from that trailer. And obviously, Fede Alvarez it has got a good track record. I think that's what Aliens needs. Blend Alien, like the claustrophobic terror with some of that horrendous body gore from something like the evil dead and i think you're on to like a winner personally but yeah no that looks fire i'm i'm excited for that one so yeah guys thanks for watching that that's my alien romulus trailer reaction i know it's a bit late i apologize for that let me know if you want me to react to more film trailers and stuff like that because obviously cinematography and film is something i'm very interested in and passionate about and if you guys think i should react to more or you enjoy watching this kind of thing, I'll be happy to add this into my wheelhouse as well. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button. If you don't fancy it, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves. Peace. Who this? New shit. Crusade. New wave. New drip. Toupee. Day trip. Super